Hi, and welcome to Happy Creating with Mrs. G. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make a 3D snowflake using paper, pencil, a ruler, stapler, and tape. A really fun thing you can do at the end of this is to wrap some lights throughout the snowflake and hang this up in your window. I hope you enjoy creating this with me today. Remember to subscribe to my channel and make comments below. Let's get started. Gather your materials, and then if you're using a piece of paper, like computer paper, you're gonna wanna turn that paper into a square. So fold the top left corner and make it touch the bottom of your paper to make a triangle. You're then gonna draw a line at the edge of the triangle, and then this is the piece that you're gonna cut off so that you can create a square. If you have square paper, like scrapbooking paper, that would be fine to use. But if you have a rectangle piece of paper, you wanna start by cutting it into a square. Once you have your square, you wanna make sure that your paper is folded in the middle on the diagonal. Make sure the fold is on the bottom and the open flap is at the top. You're gonna to connect the two bottom corners by touching them together and then folding the crease on the left hand side. Now you want to make sure that you're turning your paper so that you have a fold on the left side, the open flap on the right side, and that's really really important. You want to start drawing some parallel lines from the folded side. You always want to start drawing your lines from the folded side. We're gonna draw three parallel lines. The lines are gonna be parallel from the bottom of the triangle. And you can just use a pencil and a ruler and slide your ruler up slightly each time you're drawing a new line. Again, you wanna draw three parallel lines and you wanna make sure those parallel lines are not drawn all the way to the right side. You wanna put about two fingers of space in between each of those. You don't want those lines to go all the way to the open flap side. When you have your three lines drawn, use scissors and start to cut. Remember not to cut all the way through. Wherever you stop drawing with your pencil, you wanna make sure that's where you stop with your scissors. So you're gonna cut all three lines and then very, very, very carefully, you're gonna start opening up your piece of paper. Sometimes you have to slide your hand in the middle to carefully open this all up. And then you have a piece of paper that's ready to start sculpting together. So you wanna take the two points from your middle section and you wanna take those points and overlap them. You wanna make sure that they're not touching but that they're overlapping and connect those with a small piece of tape. Then flip your entire piece of paper over, take the next rows of paper, overlap the points, make sure they're not touching but overlapping, and then take a really small piece of tape and tape those points together. Then you're gonna flip over your sculpture again and do the same thing. Make sure those points are overlapping and then tape them together. Flip your sculpture over one last time and take that outer layer and overlap the points and tape the points together. This is how you're going to create one piece of your 3D snowflake. Now you're going to need to create a total of six pieces. Once you have all six pieces, you're ready to combine them. I find it's easier to start with just three pieces at a time. I'm going to connect the corners of three of the pieces of your snowflake and I'm going to make all three of those pieces touch and I'm going to connect all three of those by stapling them together. 
Now I want to connect each snowflake. So I'm going to take the outer curve of each snowflake and touch them together and then connect with my stapler. I'm going to do that so that they stay connected and I want to do that one more time on the other side. Those outer loops I'm just going to touch together and then staple. You now have one half of your snowflake done. Get your next three pieces and repeat that process. Put the three corners together, make sure they're touching and even, and then staple all three together. Now take the outer loops of each piece of your snowflake and then make sure you're stapling them together. You're almost ready to connect the two halves together. So now that you have both halves done, you're going to take the middle pieces of each half, overlap them together, and then use your stapler to staple them together. I use two staples here to make it really strong. And then take those outer loops of each piece of the snowflake and connect with your stapler. Do that on each side and you are almost done. You almost have all of your sides connected together to create your 3D snowflake. Once your 3D snowflake is complete, you can punch a hole in one of the tops and string it with yarn so you can hang it. You can weave some lights through and then hang this in your window for you to enjoy. Happy creating!